Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be covering various meta characters that we use in regular expressions. I will explain all these meta characters with examples. Guys, I have uploaded complete Python programming subject tutorials. I will provide a link in description. You can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. These are various meta characters that we use in regular expressions. First one is square brackets and next one is caret symbol and next one is dollar sign. Next one dot. This is or next question mark star plus curly braces and normal brackets. These are various meta characters that we use. I will explain each of them by giving example. At first I will explain what is use of square brackets. This is example. At first I written import re and I written a equal to my name is Nagendra Kama, my age is 25. And next I written b equal to re dot find all. I'm taking here find all function. Guys, for all special sequences and meta characters, you can use find all function. So I'm writing here re dot find all. Inside brackets, I'm applying pattern. That is, inside square brackets, I written a, b, c. Don't give space, just write here a, b, c. Inside square brackets. Whenever you write here a, b, c inside square brackets, then it will check whether a, b, c is available in this sentence. If a, b, c is available in this sentence, then it will print a, b, c. So whenever you run this code, you will get output. As I said before, find all function will represent output in the form of list and it will represent each character in single quotation. So at first it will check whether a, b, c is available. Yes, a is available here. So it will print a and next it will check. Yes, a is available here. So again it will print a. And next A is available here, so it will print A and we'll keep on checking. A is available here for each. So it will print A. B and C is not available in this sentence. So it will print only A. It will represent each character in single quotations. For example, in place of ABC, if I write here small a to z, so in place of ABC, just I'm writing here small a to z. If you write here small a to z, then it will check alphabets from small a to z in this sentence. Yes, my a small letter, this is in between a to z. So it will print M, Y, N, A, M, E, so on. So it will print all those small letters. So in this, except comma and 25, it will print remaining alphabets. Because all these alphabets are small letters, so it will print all those alphabets. And it will represent each character in single quotations. And whenever you write here capital A to Z, here for my name is Nagendra, N starts with capital letter. So whenever you write here R you dot find all of capital A to Z, then it will print all capital letters available in this sentence. In this sentence, only this N is capital letter. Remaining all are small letters, so it will print output that is capital N in square brackets. This is my output. For example, in place of capital A to Z, if I write here 0 to 9, then it will print numbers from 0 to 9. In this sentence total, there are two numbers, they are 2 and 5. So it will print output 2 and 5. So you will get output 2 in single quotation and 5 in single quotation. This is my output. Inside square brackets, if you write here caret symbol and small a to Z, Meaning of this is, except the small a to z, it will print remaining. In this, all these are small letters, so it will skip all these characters and it will print only n. It will also print spaces. So it will print space, capital N and space is here, space and it will print comma and again space, 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 space and three spaces here and it will print 25. So it will print 2 and 5. Meaning of this is, except small a to z, it will print remaining. And whenever you write here square bracket, caret symbol inside square bracket and capital A to Z, then except the capital A to Z, it will print remaining. In this water capital letters, only N is capital letter. So except N, it will print remaining. Guys, definitely you need to write pattern in quotation marks or else it will display error. So definitely write pattern in quotation marks. This is one more example. Inside square brackets, I am writing caret symbol 0 to 9. That means except 0 to 9, it will print remaining. So what are remaining? My name is Nagendra, comma, my age is, and even it will print spaces and commas. I just remember this. If you write A to Z inside square brackets, then it will print alphabets from small a to Z. And whenever you write capital A to Z in square brackets, then it will print alphabets from capital A to Z. And whenever you write here numbers from 0 to 9 inside square brackets, then it will print numbers from 0 to 9. And whenever you use caret symbol at starting, that means except. Except the A to Z, it will print remaining. Except the capital A to Z, it will print remaining. Except the 0 to 9, it will print remaining. This is use of square brackets. Next, I will explain what is use of caret symbol. Same example which I took before. Here I am writing B equal to RE dot find all. For all meta characters and for all special sequences, 
you can use find all function so inside find all function i written caret symbol my that means it, it will check whether my is available at first or not yes my is available at first so it will print my so inside list it will represent my in single quotations guys whenever you write caret symbol inside square brackets that means it is complement but whenever you use caret symbol like this that means it is used to search whether characters are available at first or not here i given my so it will check whether my is available at first or not if my is available at first you will get output my for example if i write here name then it will check whether name is available at first or not name is not available at first so it will display empty list next i will explain what is use of dollar sign same example where caret symbol is used to identify whether characters are available at first or not and whereas dollar sign is used to identify whether characters are available at last or not so just i am writing here 25 dollar sign i already said before for each and every pattern you need to take quotation marks or else it will display error so inside quotation marks i written 25 dollar sign that means it will check whether 25 is available at last or not in this sentence 25 is available at last so it will print output 25 so you will get output 25 in single quotations for example if i write here age then it will check whether age is available at last or not in this sentence age is not available at last so it will display empty list for example, if I write here 5 dollar sign, then it will check whether 5 is available at last or not. Yes, 5 is available at last. So, you will get output 5 in single quotation. This is use of caret symbol and dollar sign. Next, I will explain what is use of dot symbol. Same example, here I written a dot e. That means from this given sentence, I want to print characters that contains a, e, and in between a and b, it can be any character I want to print those. So, just I written a dot e. So, dot is nothing but any character. There can be any character in between A and E. I want to print A, that particular character and E. So, it will check this pattern. For name, it contains A and E. In between A and E, it contains M. So, I will get output A, M, E. And similarly, it will keep on checking because I written find all. So, it will keep on checking all characters. For Nagendra, string Nagendra contains A and E. And in between A and E, it contains E. So, it will print H and again it will keep on checking and for H starting is A and ending is E and in between A and E it contains E. So, you will get output H. This is my output. Meaning of A dot E is it should contains A and E in between A and E it can be any character. I want to print those. For example, if I write here R E dot find all in two dots E double quotations close comma A that means it should contains n and e and in between n and e it can be any two characters so it will keep on checking yes for name starting is n and next is e and in between n and e there can be any characters so two characters are a and m so you will get output name and again it will keep on checking for nagendra here starting is n and there is e and in between n and e there are two characters a and g so you will get output n a g guys definitely there should be two characters whenever i gave you a two dots that means it should contains any two characters not single character this is use of dot symbol next i will explain what is use of r at first i written import r e same example which i took before here i written b equal to r e dot find all function inside find all function i am writing is or my that means if is is present in this sentence, then I should get output is. And if my is present in this sentence, I should get output my. Guys, it will print in order. So, at first it will check my and is. My is present here. So, it will print my. And again is. So, it will print is. And next one is my. So, it will print my. And after my, there is is. So, you will get output my is, my is. This is my output. It will print in order. For example, if I write here Nagendra or Raju. You will check whether Nagendra or Raju is present in this sentence. Yes, Nagendra is present in this sentence. So, you will get output Nagendra. And Raju is not present in this sentence. So, you won't get Raju. It will print only Nagendra. This is my output. This is use of R symbol. Next, I will explain what is use of question mark symbol, star symbol and place symbol. Just remember, for question mark, 0 or 1 occurrence. And for star, 0 or more occurrence and for plus 1 or more occurrence. I will give one example. For example, let us consider one string that is Sai. The Sai is name and in pattern I am writing S A question mark I. That means here question mark left character is A and question mark mean 0 or 1. That means 
if this a is available 0 or 1 time in my string i should get output s psi that is s a a is available once so i'll get output psi and for example my string contains s i this is pattern which i applied that is s a question mark i question mark mean 0 or 1 occurrence if this string contains a once i will get output and if this string do not contain a i will get output but even if this a is not available in my string i will get output so i'll get output is si guys this is example here i written a equal to my name is sai and next i written b equal to re dot find all inside this i written s a question mark i that mean question mark is nothing but zero or one occurrence that mean question marks left side character a if this a is available once in my string i will get output and if this a is not available in my string i will get output this result is stored in variable b so whenever i write here print b i will get output s a i because question mark mean zero or one occurrence so here a occurred once so i'll get output psi for example for example in place of s a i if i write here s i this string do not contain c a even if this string do not contain c a i will get output so i'll get output s i because because question mark mean zero or one occurrence so the zero is satisfied so i'll get output s i for example if i write here s triple a i if this a is repeated more than once i won't get any output here a is repeated thrice so i won't get any output so it will represent empty list so question mark mean only zero or one occurrence you can remember like this so question mark is in the form of zero and one so you can remember like this question mark mean zero or one occurrence this is use of question mark symbol Next, I will explain what is use of place symbol. So, in place of question mark, I took place. Place mean one or more occurrence. In this string, for example, let us consider this string. My name is Sai. Here, A is present once. So, I will get output Sai. For example, if I write here S triple A I, place mean one or more occurrence. So, this condition is satisfied because A repeated more than once. So, I will get output S triple A I in single quotations. For example, if I write here s i place mean only one or more occurrence but here a is not available in my string so i won't get any output only if a is available in my string once or more than once i will get output this is use of place symbol starting we will write place like this place so one more occurrence so you can remember like this next i will explain star symbol star mean zero or more occurrence zero or more that mean just in place of place right here star star left side character that is a if this a is not available in my string i will get output if this a is available once in my string i will get output and if this a is available more than once i will get output for example this is my string my name is sai in this string sai a is present once so i'll get output sai for example if i write here my name is s triple a i in this string s triple a i a is repeated thrice so condition is satisfied so i'll get output s triple a i and for example if i write here s i here in string s i a is not present though if a is not present i will get output so i'll get output s i star is repeating and this star looks like zero so zero or more you can remember like this next i will explain what is use of curly braces inside this find all function i written my and i said before you need to take pattern in single quotations or double quotations so inside single quotations i written my because i want to find my inside curly braces i written one comma two where one is minimum and two is maximum if my is available minimum once or maximum twice i will get output my and this my is available here and again my is available here so my is available twice this condition is satisfied so i will get output my twice for example if i return here minimum 5 and maximum is 12 i should get output my at least the size should be 5 but my is available only twice this condition is not satisfied so i will not get any output it will display empty list this is use of curly braces 